Hi guys. Hi Mason. Welcome. How are you today? First one on. Holy cow. I didn't even advertise. How are you, Mason? I'm sitting here with the sun shining in on me. I didn't realize it was going to be so bright. Hi, Jessica Love. I got the sun shining in on me today. <laughs> Wow. I'm glad to hear that, Mason. I'm glad you're here, hon. Hi, Johnny Avanti. Welcome, hon. Nice to see you. Don't forget the thumbs up, guys. I can't believe the sun's shining. I think this is the first day I've seen the sun popping through the clouds in probably a week. Wow. Now would be a bad time for it, too. <laughs> I forgot to put up a reminder to let everybody know I was coming on today. So I hope everybody gets their uh, gets their, remi their reminders. We'll see. Did you tell Grandpa I was coming on, Mason? Hi, Lady49. Welcome, huh? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Sadie's bugging me already. Oh, my gosh. Get your crochet needle out, Mason. I'm ready to show you. <laughs> Got me some wireless AirPods today at Walgreens. Going to try them out. They have a built-in mic, so I'm going to try them on Grandpa's panel, and I don't have Grandpa's Adventures on Facebook. Oh, boy. Well, good luck with that. Wireless AirPods. Okay, here comes doggy number one. Then maybe they'll leave me be. Say hi. Hurry up, Sadie. Say hi. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well today. Hi, Leslie. Boy, you're just on time. Sadie just came up to say hi. Oh, you forgot to make your tea downstairs, Jessica. Go get it. Go get it. You're all right. Okay. Now it's Dash's turn. Where'd, where'd you go? Come on. And here's Dash. <laughs> yeah, say hi to everybody. Yeah, right here he is, Mason. I got him right here. He gets picked up every time Sadie gets picked up. Oh, yeah, they're both big babies. Hi, Sherry K. Loves Yarn and Crochet. Yep, well, you knew, who he, you knew that was Dash right away, didn't you? <laughs> they were playing a little bit earlier. It was nice to see them playing. Yep, so they're all done now. <laughs> okay, okay, go get a toy. Hi, Grayscale Painting. Welcome. Have to take my bull mastiff pit bull mix for a bathroom run. Okay, hon. Now, if you guys have not checked out Grayscale's videos, guys, oh, he makes the most beautiful paintings. Oh, my God, I'm in love with his paintings. <coughs> oh, okay, Jessica. <laughs> yeah, he's got beautiful paintings. Oh, I would almost just kill to have one. He does beautiful work. Jeremy Lovell's Art Adventures. Hello. Welcome on in. Great to see ya. Sherry, I see that you're trying to um, do panel now. How's that going with you? I don't think the first one went worked out too well. Hi, Nick Jones, 74. Good evening to you. It's afternoon here. Oh, it's heading on evening, but it's not evening yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're good. Finally got all your banking stuff situated after having my account hacked. What? Oh my gosh, Sherry. Ugh. It's always something, isn't it? Hi, Shell Shell Crochet. How are ya? Oh, you're at work. Aw, oh, that's that's a bummer. That was nice of you to stop in, though. I sure do appreciate that. Okay, hon. Yeah, I'll watch, Sherry. I'll watch for you to do a panel. Hi, Whisper. Barb, how are you, hon? Good to see ya. I think we're all good. Hopefully, we're all doing good today. I'm sitting here working on a dishcloth for my next tutorial because I like to, the, whatever project we're making, I want them to be able to see what it's going to look like when it's done. <clears throat> so that's what I'm working on today. Oh, you put your crochet down just to relax. Well, that, that helps every now and then, too. It really does. Oh, really, Nick? Oh, my gosh. Trolls? I haven't heard anything in a while about trolls. What's going on? Oh, my gosh. Where he was taken was put back by the bank in a new account. Oh, that's good, Sherry. Yeah, they, the bank's usually pretty good about taking care of that stuff. We've had it happen to us before, too. And Leslie was out for lunch with friends. Oh, Barb. Wrestling with his Amigurumi dragon all day. Oh, yay. I do recall you saying you were making a dragon. Yeah, that's crazy. Drone effects. Kai Claude. Welcome. Drone effects with Claude says, how do I get yarn out of my sock? It's still there. <laughs> You might want to just get rid of that sock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Did you knot it? <laughs> well, it's nice to see you, hon. I'm glad you stopped by. <laughs> can always use a good laugh, I'll tell you that. I actually have a pretty good... Um, pretty good subject for us to hit on today couple of them if we run out of things to wow where's all my people today i knew i should have put a reminder up it's still knitted to your sleeve well claude first of all i thought you crocheted i didn't know that you knitted <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline Gabadon. Welcome, hon. You forgot about the live, and now your battery is too low. Plug it in. Plug it in. Liddy49 says, I found a crochet Harry Potter kit yesterday at my BJ's. Awesome. Wow. That's pretty cool. Hi, Naughty May, Crochet, and more, little sis. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay today, hon. We all been pretty worried about you. Hope everything's getting better. It involves two pointy objects. All I know. Oh, okay. Well, then that would be crochet needles because, or I mean, knitting needles because crochets aren't real pointy. The crochet needles aren't. <laughs> we'll learn ya. <laughs> Under the volcano. Oh, that sounds interesting, Leslie. We don't have that here. Wow. Hi, Becky Bramlett. Cooking, crocheting, and watching you. Wow. That's what you call multitasking. I'm crocheting and I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hi, Trans Daddy of Reborns. Braden, nice to see you. Thanks for coming on in. Wizard Wayne, that is a crochet hook. Oh, oh my gosh, the lady, that's so neat. I would love something like that. Oh, I'm making a mess. 
If I had a sock clot, I'd probably have it in there by now or in my sleeve, actually. Not sure which will get done first, huh? Digo, hi, Digo Crochet. Welcome, so nice to see you. I'm so glad you're back. We missed ya. I think I'll put that down before I really botch it, guys. <laughs> I can't seem to talk and crochet at the same time. Thank you for the thumbs up, everybody. I appreciate that. Hi, Leanne Burns. Welcome. And it's morning for you, and it's afternoon for me. And we got someone for evening in here. Yeah, we really missed you, Digo. It's, re Digo, it's really great to see you back. It really is. Nani Mae, you're not talking. Are you okay? So, guys, I'll be doing my next panel on uh, Saturday. Hi, the Margate Marauder. Awesome to see you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Doing good today. Last Yesterday and today have been pretty good. I'm getting a little bit of my strength back, so... That's a good thing. I'm getting back into my crocheting again. And as long as I can crochet, I know things are going the right way. <laughs> oh, my goodness, for Lady 49. It even has the stuffing for it. That's so cool. I don't know. I don't see kits like that around here. Usually the only kits that we see have are blankets or whatever. So, hi, Granny D. You are on Sharon's Crochet Corner Zoom. I just saw you, so I wanted to pop on and say, Hello and love ya. I want to read, record the last chapter of Joe Boy shortly. Can hardly wait to start Pride and Prejudice. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping in, Granny D. I appreciate it. I love you too, hon. Yeah, I forgot about, uh, I totally forgot about that Zoom. I think you guys do that a couple times a week now. Harry Potter addicts. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I hope you enjoy that, Granny D. I've never done a Zoom. I, I don't know. I, with so many people, I think that would probably drive me crazy. I hear that the, that the whole screen is filled with people. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> you have a great day, too, D. Love you, hon. And you made a pattern for the Harry Potter pygmy pops and the Fantastic Beasts. Alchemy. Wow. See, I'm not much of a Harry Potter fan. I don't know a whole lot about it. I've never even seen any of the episodes. My husband's got them all recorded, but I have not watched them yet. So that's like, wow. He's like, you ought to watch these. You'd really like it, but I haven't. So I had uh, a, uh, I was hoping Nani Mae would stick around. I think she left. You should, Lori, binge watch them while crocheting. Yeah, that's an idea. Well, a project that I have coming up, I think it's going to be really easy. And I may just do that, Sherry. I may just do that. So Thursday and Friday, but she had a Tuesday too. Wow. Yeah, that would see that's what I would think that you'd all be talking over one another. Even with just a six on a regular panel, sometimes it gets crazy. So even though I've only done a few. Hi, Uncle Bud. Welcome, darling. Glad you're here. I need you, lady, on my channel. Which lady? <laughs> Claude, which lady? There's several on here. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask you guys today what you guys do to get rid of stress, because I'll tell you what, guys, I just thought it would be, hi, Ange Endeavor, welcome, hon, glad you're here, I know you're dying for that peanut brittle, it's going to be going out in a couple days, hi, Jennifer Wysocki, welcome, Kane, hi, Kane. 
Kane Hansen, welcome. Good to see ya. There you are. Hey, Sugar Burger. Oh, I'm doing good. We will just have to put a, a lien on our home and property and pay for it again. But it's better than losing our place. We have been here 20 years, you know. Well, I'm glad that you're you're going to keep it. That's good. I'm glad to hear that, Nani Mae. And I hope you get things all straightened out with your channel, too. We don't want to lose you. So I am making a dishcloth for my next tutorial. I have it almost done. Um, when I do the tutorials, I like to have the actual item made so that they can see what it's going to look like when it's done. Because I do a few rows. And then I tell them where to go from there. So they'll be able to see what it's going to look like when it's done. Hi, Howling Fun RV Adventures. You told your husband today that you have to get some stress off of me. So how do we do that, guys? How do we remove our stress? My main thing would be a nice hot bath. But I'm sure everybody else has got their own ideas on that. Hi, Grizz. Welcome. Barbecuing gets rid of stress. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, my God, Grizz. Uh, you're lucky Terry's not on here. <laughs> She'd be flipping on you, Grizz. <laughs> Hi, Crazy Shepherd. Oh, my goodness. It's so great to have you all here. You did everything is all straightened out with the channel. By Friday, my ads should start showing. Yay. Awesome, Nani. I knew it would all work out. So you had yourself all worked up over that. And you shouldn't have. I'm the one that should be all worked up because they will not let me use my phone to do live video. I have 1,500 subscribers now. They gave me my community wall. I have 1,600 watch hours. Why are they not giving me my live video on my phone? I don't understand. So, yeah, I'm a little stressed, guys. <laughs> Hi, Rick. Welcome, Pick Rick One. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, um, hugging your puppies? Absolutely, Nani. That's another good one. Definitely. I do that all the time. Sometimes a little too hard, I think. Uh, breathing techniques, yeah, meditation. Yeah, or even maybe go out for a for a long walk, which I can't do, unfortunately, but uh, Lori's Creations 2017. Hi. You will have to change your name when you're here. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> You don't have to change your name. You tried to get Rick. You tried to get Rick how to cook Korean food, but he said leave Elvis alone. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, couple people told me it took a month before they could go live on the phone. It's been a month already, Nani. It was two weeks for you before you could go live. Hi, Chef Diane and friends. It's been a solid month for me now, and I still can't go live on my phone. On my first channel, I was live three days after I had my 1,000 subscribers. So that's why I'm frustrated. Stretching, that's a good one. Hi, Grandma Benny. Yes, definitely shopping for yarn. <laughs> Elvis will eat anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Lemon cake relieves stress for me, but gives my butt big stress. <laughs> oh, Nani Mae, you bad girl. <laughs> I love lemon cake, though. That's You guys wouldn't believe what I ate before I came on here today, and I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nani Mae, she's a character, isn't she? <laughs> Howling, Howling Fun RV says I'm here. I'm here, but the bus is about to run. But I'm staying on. Okay, Howling Fun. Thank you, Han. Susie Q told me it took like a month and a half for her. Okay, I guess I just have to learn to be more patient. So, hey, you guys. I have snow all over my floor again, so they've been tearing up toys. Oh, burning a candle. Yes. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to go straighten out my animals real quick. Guys. Every time I get on a live, my dogs tear up their toys and I've got cotton all over. So it's like it just snowed in here. 
Yes, we will be here, Howling Fun RB. Lemon anything. Yeah, I love lemon too. What did I eat? <laughs> you really want to know, Rick? <laughs> oh, I think I threw the bag away. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> I did. I threw it away. Well, anyways, I got a Happy Meal the other day, and it had a bag of, a small bag of, um, they're like little round chocolate discs, and they have caramel inside. Hi, Diane Sharp. Welcome, hon. I hate them all, guys. I hate every single one out of that bag. I couldn't stop eating them. So, oh, Digo says talking to my grandbabies on the phone helps me relieve stress. I don't know about grandbabies. Not on my end. They're too crazy. A new seat for your ripped out lawn chair. Out of bailing fun. Oh, that's cool, Grizz. <laughs> I'll have to check that out the next time I come on. Bailing twine. Wow. Okay, howling fun. Mine can't be quiet when I try to do a video. I hear you, Sherry. Every time, there's always someone for them to bark at. Yeah, Grizz, you qualify now. <laughs> we'll allow it. Claude, he gets he gets his socks and his shirt sleeves all sewn together. So, <laughs> Nani Mae says she's going to do a giveaway when her ads start showing up. She'll give an Amazon card for people out of the country and something else for the U.S. people. That's nice. That's nice, Nani Mae. It is knit one pearl too. Yes, it is, Claude. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, Diane, you didn't get notified. I truly meant to put up, you know, I like to put up reminders that I'm going to do a video how or a live. Today, I forgot. I got busy doing stuff, and I totally forgot. I'm sorry, guys. So you haven't shown it on video, but I was sitting in the chair this morning, and you actually didn't talk. You didn't fall through it. Oh, my gosh. It worked. <laughs> yes, knit one, pearl two. <laughs> What am I, who's, Sherry wants to know, oh, drone effects with Claude. What are you making for Sherry K? <laughs> oh, travel. Oh, I hear you, RV. Yeah, RV wants to, Howling Fun RV wants to do a giveaway when they hit the next goal. Missed the last goal because of travel, but really want to do something for my supporters. Nice guy, watch your footage. Welcome. So good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Jen. Bells Reborn Nursery. Cooking dinner, but listening. Okay. It supports your lard arse. <laughs> That's good, Grizz. We'll see how long that lasts, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Lori's Creations. That's fine, hon. That's fine. I do that sometimes. You know, I have no choice in the matter, but and I'm sorry you don't feel good. I hope you get feeling better soon, hon. Yep, we're here. That's right. Prayers to you, hon. I sure hope you get feeling better soon. It's just no fun being sick, guys. I'm telling you, I had three days there where I wasn't feeling right. And, of course, you guys know that because I didn't do lives. I stayed off the computer. I wasn't really even... Didn't visit too many lives. I went in and hit the notifications like for the videos that were put up and, and did comments and stuff, but I just wasn't up to it. Thanks, Jen. Make me hungry. <laughs> Hubby went out and bought me a steak. I'm going to cut it up and fry it up with a whole onion, guys, and I'm making tater tots too. That's what I'm going to be having. I don't think I'm going to have it today, though. Today I made sausage, and I'm going to have some waffles and sausage. So. Definitely, Lori. Definitely. I oh, sure hope you get feeling better. Crazy Shepherd is 42 away from 500, but have 23 watch hours last time you checked. Well, you got to work on that. Get on there and do some more videos. Get them videos up there because that really helps getting your watch time a lot. If you stay on at least like maybe an hour and 10 or 15 minutes. Hi, Donna Mako. Welcome. You'll get almost two days worth of watch hours. So, yeah, it really, it helps. 
Your pups were sick all last week. Mishka, Mishka is still a little sick, but so much better. I'm so behind on supporting. You know, we all have lives, guys. Life goes on. We have to do what we got to do. And I'm sorry that your pups were sick. That's horrible. Don't know why she resisted. Bud is, Bud is in one hour, 40 minutes, Carol says. Hi, Carol. <laughs> it's terrific having all you guys here. I've really been missing you. Um, I did bring up the subject today of how we... Uh, what do we do to get rid of stress? If anybody wants to put up any ideas, because I know a lot of us have been through an awful lot of stress lately with everything that's been going on. Me with my husband, losing my channel, and I'm just starting to start feeling a little more normal now. So, and it's, I have all this support. How can I not? Hi, Punchy Paints. Welcome. Great to see you. Thank you for coming. Punchy Paints, I believe, is new. So everybody introduce yourself to Punchy Paints. Hi, J-Dog Homestead. Dropping a like and a howdy. Howdy, hon. I wish I had my cowboy hat on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hot tea, hot bath showers, little soft care. Definitely. I'm telling you, when I'm off of here, I'm in the tub. I'm going to soak for about an hour, guys. I usually do showers, but I really just need to soak. It just feels so nice. So, hi, Peanuts Peppers. Welcome. Hello from the wet, nasty, muddy state of Louisiana. Hope all is well. Well, we've been getting snow here. I, are you guys getting flooded out there? I think that might have been one of your videos I was watching. Okay, Howling Fun, we'll be here. Hi, Rosalie Pereira. If I miss anybody, I'm so sorry. Hi, hi, hi. Sometimes the chat goes so fast. Did you just see that little piece of cotton that just blew for me? Here it is. That's from the dogs tearing their toys apart, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Leslie, you just got it? Holy cow. What is up with that? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, YouTube is so messed up right now, guys. It really is. Don't check your hours all the time either because they're, they're messed up even on your, your watch hours. So, hi, hook in a teacup. You're on chat only, but I'm here. Hey, Lori, we're talking self-care. I just like being at home. I'm not into manicures, et cetera. Yeah, me neither. I love being home. That's my most comfortable spot, but it's been pretty stressful lately. <laughs> oh. Okay, J-Dogs Homestead, thanks so much for coming. You have a terrific day. Thank you for coming, hon. Lori, I just received notification that you're on live. See how late that is? I came on at 4 o'clock, guys. It's almost 4.30 already. That just, hi, movie buff, babe. That makes no sense at all. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense because now I'm, I've got more people coming on in, so everybody must just be getting their notifications. I don't understand that at all. Diane Sharp just got hers. That's crazy. Jeremy Lovell's Arc Adventure. What is everybody doing today? Well, I know I'm crocheting a little bit. Um, hi, Denisha and Diane. Oh, I, or I said hi, Diane. I'm saying hi, Denisha. I didn't see Denisha. Where are you at? I think I'm having a problem seeing you, Denisha. And I, I went and checked it, double checked to make sure I was sub to you. And everything else. I'm going to have to find out what's going on. Had you confused because it's just now 328 here. Yeah. I, I always go on at 4 o'clock. 4 p.m. on Tuesdays, guys. So um, check out my About tab on my homepage. My schedule's in there. I think I have most of it up. Um, but. Yeah, every Tuesday I'm on at 4. I'm just going to mention that time today. Hi, Brenda Lynn. Welcome, sweetie. Nice to see you here. I keep missing your lives, and I'm getting really, really stressed out about that. <laughs> uh, and Pickerick just got his notification. Says three minutes ago. That is just crazy, guys. 
That's crazy. Now, you've all been on here for more than three minutes. You know that. So what's going on with the notifications? At least they're going on. <laughs> Just not at the right time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, Brenda, I'm sorry. I don't know if you're doing your lives later. I think I'm in bed when you're doing your lives. I know I caught you a couple times on during the day or in the morning. I'm not sure. But I get so mad when I miss your lives. Hi, Miss Terry and Circles. Just stopping in real quick. I don't think I'm going to make it, sweet lady. I'm doing a storage run. All right. Love you too, Terry. That's okay, hon. At least you stopped in. That a girl. Did you give me a thumbs up too? <laughs> Four minutes ago, Whisper says, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that I'm going to have to remember to post my reminders now for now on. Today, I just totally forgot. Lori's creation says four minutes. Oh, you knew I was coming on because Jessica told you. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, my gosh. Ah. I'm driving y'all. I'll talk to you later. Hello, Carol. Hello, everybody. Be careful, Terry. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with the, not the notification thing. The only other thing I can do is remember to put up my reminders on my wall and it'll, you know, when you scroll YouTube, it'll show there. I'll try to put it on at least by noon, one o'clock. That way you guys will eventually run across it, hopefully. So now I'm really stressed out, guys. See what I'm saying? That's why I want to know what everybody does when they get stressed out because I'm always stressed out about something. <laughs> I'm happy that Naughty Mae is here and that she's doing all right and that she's not going to lose her house. So that was the one major worry that's off of my shoulders, blown away. So, and Nani Mae, having a lean on your house, big deal. Don't worry about it, hon. You know, at least you have a roof over your head. So, hi, Siri. At the next light. Oh, okay, Terry. She's going to give me a thumbs up at the next light. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. You guys are so funny today. It's good to get a laugh out anyway. <clears throat> Dedication, Terry. Yeah, there you go. Dedication, Terry. <laughs> Terry, I'll probably see you at Grandpa's tonight. If you're going to be on there. Take a few breaths. Slow breaths. In and out. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Winky Whispers. Welcome. Oh, you're buffering. Back out and come on back in. See what happens. Anybody else buffering? Okay. Hey, love. Driving bit at a light. Just wanted to show you my love and support. I'm Duty Ron's mom. Thank you so much, Winky Whispers. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Much love to you. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Gabadon. Did I say hi to you, Jacqueline? Terry became your 80th subscriber. That's awesome. Oh, you're very welcome, Jacqueline. Lily, hi. Yeah, everybody is, I think we're all a little confused because um, everybody's getting their notifications now. I came on at four o'clock, so you're not the only one, hon. <laughs> very nice to have you, Lily. Thanks for coming. No buffering on your end. Okay, it's good here, Jessica says. Yeah, so you just need to back out and come back in again. That's all. You know, guys, I have not seen since I got this new computer, I have not had this thing buffer on me, not once so far. And it's a darn good thing because it would be going back if it did. So, <laughs> oh, you're driving through the Arizona mountains. Oh, I see. Wow. You're in Arizona. Okay, punchy paints is good. Hooking a teacup is good. Sound is off? Oh, because of family. Okay. I get you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jessica. Yes, it's it's pretty cold here, and uh, the Ange Endeavor. It's downright bitter here. Yeah, it's in the 20s, so it's not real warm. Um, for stress, two glasses of mountain water and a chill Chinese barbecue. 
I have the mountain water, but no cats. Anybody want to come over for a barbecue? Grizz. Oh, my gosh. Now, you stop that cat business. <laughs> this is supposed to be a clean channel. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, we got to be careful with, uh, well, I guess that's all right. I'm not going to say anything about that. Okay. Eyes on the road. He, he, you got that right. Keep your eyes on the road. Hi, Margie Gibbs. Welcome. Nice to see you, hon. I do believe you're new to the channel. Everybody meet Margie Gibbs. You had 40s today, Sherry. How lucky. Yeah, it's chilly here. We had a lot of snow. We actually got like nine inches of snow overnight. And then the next day it started to melt. So it, it went above freezing just enough for the snow to melt. And the sun is out a little bit too today. So and that's an that's awesome. I really missed having some sunshine. I think that's why I get so depressed half the time because there's no sunshine in the winter. So, yep, just no sun. Thank you, bud. I sure could use some warm weather. I know that would perk me right up. I know it would. Oh, Nani May had snow this morning. <laughs> I believe it. 60s here all week, movie buff babe says. Now that I could handle. I would love it in the 60s, and I could at least go outside with the dogs. I can't handle the cold. I just can't take it anymore. Yeah, it starts getting dark here around 5. Usually 5, 5.30-ish, somewhere in that area. It gets, starts getting dark. Oh, you guys are killing me with these 60s. <laughs> 70s, Peanuts Pepper says. Oh, my gosh. Wow. At the barbecue, I will supply the mountain water, but it's B B R Y C. Now, come on, Grizz. <laughs> bring your own chicken. Okay, we can do bring your own chicken. <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> oh, naughty Grizz. I'm telling you, if you were here, I'd be yanking on your beard. <laughs> Hi, Granny Crafters Crochet. Welcome, huh? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Not even wants to plant her garden and plant some flowers and done with winter. Yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. It's just when it gets to be this time of year, it's later in winter and it's like 77 degrees in South Carolina. Hi, Carol Ruscio. Welcome, hon. Wow, that just makes me about sick. <laughs> Edna. Wow, we got some nice, good channels in here, guys. Grizz, you better behave. Ha, 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 but you're hilarious, so keep up cracking us up. Do you hear what Naughty May says? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I planted a garden one time when we first moved here, and I really enjoyed it, but it was so much work. And after I had my stroke, I just couldn't do it and get down there to take care of it anymore, so I don't, I don't garden anymore. I do miss it, though. And I'll tell you what, this lady doesn't have a green thumb, but I sure could grow cucumbers like mad. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. Jimmy's has, I'm in Massachusetts, too, and it's cold and rainy. Yeah, we don't have rain, thank heavens. We did yesterday, though. We had some rain. Everybody says, hi, Edna. I don't know if this... This um, chat's going so quick, I'm not seeing everybody. I'm hoping I'm not missing anyone. Oh, that's Granny Crafters. Okay, gotcha, Edna. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I'm still, I have to work on the name thing, so. All right, Leanne, thank you so much for coming. You have a great day, hon. I'm glad you were here. Mad Mimi's Crochet, good afternoon. Welcome. Good to see ya. Leanne, woo-woo. <laughs> woo-woo. <laughs> Nani May, hello to you, Bud says. Attleboro. Attleboro. What's Attleboro? But anyways, I was sitting here working on this dishcloth. I'm almost done. I think I have like nine, nine more rows to go on it for a tutorial that I'll be doing sometime this week. 
I still have a cooking show I got to do this week. We had rain here for a week. Severe thunderstorms expected here tonight and tomorrow. Wow. Donna. Oh, my gosh. Made Mimi. Hey, sugar booger. <laughs> uh, Lori's Creations, if you're talking to me, I live in Pennsylvania. Hi, that Yarny Zebra. Welcome. Glad to see ya. C to C. I haven't tried a C to C. And if I have, I didn't know it. <laughs> but this is just a um a real uh they call it a rustic pattern. It's pretty though. You can actually you can really see the pattern in it. So I don't know if I'm going to put an edging, a different color edge on it or not. I haven't decided, but probably not this one. So, Deborah, I was watching you get your impressions. Those faces you were making were cracking me up. Oh, I must have missed that. <laughs> Darn it all. See, guys, there's so many people I got to go see, and I just, it's so hard to get to everybody. Sorry, Buffered. Oh. Thank you, Lori's Creations. Hi, Crazy Turtle. There you are. Welcome back. Have missed you. Wow, so good to see ya. So glad you're back. Where have you been, anyway? I think we just noticed you back yesterday. I think I saw you in somebody's live. It looks like C to C. Okay. It might be the queen of C to C. Live made so many C to C things. Okay. Yeah, because I don't even really, I don't understand the C to C. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. It may be. Oh, well, I know it's corner to corner or whatever, but. And I'm thinking, boy, this thing's going to be big. But then when I fold it up, it's not all that big, you know? So I still got like nine rows to go on it yet. So hugs, Crazy Turtle says. Yeah, it, it does have nice texture, doesn't it? That's what I liked about it. And it'll last a real long time. Be good for scrubbing too, you know. Uh, yes, I got your email address, Ange Endeavor. I did, sweetheart. I got you. I got it, got it, got it. And I actually got from the other winner so I can get those that stuff sent out in a day or two. I have a few things I got to send out. I want to send it all out together. So that's why I'm waiting. It is a, um, this is actually, you start out with the row of single crochet, guys. You can see the row of single crochet. And then what you do when you start your next row is you chain one, you turn your, after you do your single crochet row, you chain one and turn. And then you do a single crochet, a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet all the way across so if you start out with a single crochet you're going to end with a single crochet so when you turn to do your next row you're going to start with a double crochet and then do a single double single sing, double single and that's how you get this texture guys so um thank you bud yes it is good stress relief isn't it um and that's how you get that texture which i really love and it's so simple so I thought this would be great for a tutorial, but like I said, I like to have one made so I can show them what it's going to look like when it's done. Because when I start, I'll show them the uh, foundation row and I'll go probably through three or four rows and then I'll tell them how many more they got to do to complete it. And then if they want to put an edging on, but I like the way the edge is on this. So I may just leave it alone and not even add another color. But it's very easy. And if you want to make one, I can tell you right now, chain 39. And there you go. You're off. Chain 39. And you're going to do 36 rows, I believe, up. I'm not positive. Don't hold me on that one. But I'm, it's 36 to 39 up, too, I think. I'm almost thinking 36 for some reason. So, yeah, I do, Nani May, but I've never really made my own. Every time I, I don't keep anything I make. I always either give it away or sell it or whatever. This, um, I'm going to make three of these. I'm going to make them different colors. And then they're going to, I'm going to make a um, towel topper set. And it's going to be all one set to sell. I'm going to put it away or, or show it and sell it or whatever. But I'm going to start making a couple of those sets. 
uh, because they, they were they were selling pretty good for a while. I just got tired of making them. But the, the washcloths with the towel toppers are perfect for gifts, guys. So they're really terrific gift sets. So, yeah, and Endeavor, how did uh, what happened in that accident? That was stressful and nerve wracking. I can imagine. Plaster off your face. Oh, my gosh. Rolling through life says, I love that stitch. I'm going back up, guys, because I'm sure I missed something here. Lori's Creation is going to try that. Yeah, Lori, it's really easy to do. And I, I want to keep my tutorials easy because new learners, even when you learn basic stitches and you think that you got it, you know, you still need really easy patterns to work off for a while till you get used to the crocheting. So and that's how I started out with easy things like dishcloths, towel toppers. Hats are pretty easy, most of them. Some can be difficult. Um, but yeah. Hi, Riley Jones. Welcome, hon. Huh? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Crochet oven mitts. I've never done that, Nani May. I should try that. Never made oven mitts. Yeah, she said she was a little sore from that accident, but she didn't say what happened. So I was kind of wondering. Yeah, neck and back. Yeah, you better go to the chiropractor. Definitely. Were they, was the other, was it with another car? Did you, did you guys hit? Oh, you did say you hit, didn't you? You weave fishing nets. Wow, Riley, really? I have seen that done. That's really interesting, fishing nets. Threaded hiding my tails. Oh, man, Mimi, I tell you. I don't know if you noticed, but there is no tail on here. You see that? There's no tail. Just the yarn that I'm working off of right now. Because when I start a project, I... I weave that tail in immediately. I, I don't wait. I want them gone when I get to the end of my project. So I hate doing the tails too. I really do. Hi, Art by Adrian. Welcome, hon. Nice to see ya. Frugal Farmer. Adrian. Yeah. Oh, the tails are, I hate weaving in the tails. Especially if you're making something with stripes, guys. <laughs> That's really bad. I weave them in as I go. I don't wait to the end. I do it as I go. Oh, a nine-foot dragon? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Hi, Art by Adrian. <laughs> yeah, is that really how they started the crochet thing, Crazy Turtle? I never knew that. Oh, yeah, I do. I crochet a lot of them in, too. Especially if it comes to the, um, it depends on how loose of the stitch you're using, though, because sometimes if you weave them in, they won't stay. So if it's a tight stitch, then I will, I'll crochet them right into the project. But if it's a looser stitch, I weave them in anyway, just for safety measures, because I don't want my items falling apart on someone that I just sold it to, you know, so... Starting a net is the hardest part. I believe that. Uh, more power to you. I'm glad I don't do them. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do it. Hooking a teacup is in England. That is where my happy mail came from. You were at a four-way stop and then proceeded and someone barreled through her stop sign. Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope she had insurance. That way, you know, if anything goes, any kind of medical that you need that will be taken care of. Healy. <laughs> Denisha Burdell. Girls just want to have fun. Got <laughs> into you on your side. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you really got shook up. Hey, Caffeine Queen. Welcome. We're good. How are you, hon? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Fishermen made their nets and only men crochet, and then they had to teach their wives to help out. And, well, the rest is history. Well, that's pretty interesting, Crazy Turtle. Thanks for uh, running that across us. Wow. If that's true, I think you might be trying to fool me. <laughs> 
Well, they're just just making a super quick project. Face scrubbies, yeah. My sister makes those. She loves making those. <laughs> I'm not seeing what Denisha is saying. I don't see Denisha here for some reason. I don't understand it. And she asked me about that before. And she asked me if I was still sub to her and stuff, and which I am. And I don't understand why I'm not seeing her. So there's something going on, Denisha. I don't know what. And I don't have you blocked or anything like that. So we have to figure out what's going on with that. Oh, my goodness, Lori's Creations. Oh, just said, hope you enjoy now. I got to figure out who sent them. Oh, my gosh, Nani Mae. <laughs> Your, Lori's Creation says her challenge is making something from a pattern that's written for right-handed people. And you're left-handed. Always a challenge. Yeah. I hear that. I couldn't do it both ways. So. No, I couldn't do it. Oh, you have heard that crocheting for left hand is tricky? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to try sometime just, just for the fun of it. Wow, crazy turtle. Well, thank goodness you didn't die in either one of those accidents, huh? Can you wrap something warm on your neck or cold? I'm not sure which would be the right one, Ange. Huh. It is terrific having all of you here. Thank you all so much for coming, guys. I love it. I love it. I know that when I first do, started doing my tutorials, they were coming out backwards. So I had to tell everybody in my tutorials that, if you were right-handed, that you crochet to the left. And if you're left-handed, you crochet to the right. So, but I finally got that all worked out. Okay, Rally, thanks so much for coming, hi. It was great having you here. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you soon. I'll see you on your next slide. Hopefully, if it's not past my bedtime. <laughs> hi, Jess Handmade Designs. Welcome. Yes, it's always a great day when I get on here and I'm, on here with all my family. It's terrific. Hammock for the hubs man that thinks is a hand anchor he wants to put in his man shed. Oh my gosh, Nani Mae. <laughs> See, my husband doesn't ask me to make him anything. So I, I made him Afghans a long time ago. He still uses them. So I know I'm good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, bud. Yeah, I love I love my YouTube family. You all know that. This is from the secret yarn yarnery is left handed. Or oh, or is she left handed? Hmm. Becky Bramlett. Did I say hi to you, hon? You're a lefty and you crochet fine. When I first started, there was no thing for lefties just right. Wow. It's still probably mostly more for right handed too, I bet. Yeah, a lot of us are lefties. There is one thing that I can do quite well left-handed, and I, my husband could never understand that. Uh, we used to be in a pool league, you know, shooting pool, and I always shot pool left-handed. And my brothers taught me how to shoot pool, and that's how I learned, left-handed. So I think that's about the only thing I can do left-handed. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, your husband paid you. You won't make anything for money. <laughs> Lori, here is a great place to be. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Sorry, Larry, I will send you cool weather. It is cooler outside. We got enough cool weather here. Oh, my gosh. Maybe you're talking to the other Lori. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. You got that. You got that right. I always said my saying is a uh, happy wife, happy home or a happy wife is a happy home. So. <laughs> yes, you have to flip the pattern, especially when making jackets. Yeah. Definitely. Bud says his daughter-in-law is left-handed. Might want to double check if she's blocked because I had the same thing happen to me. 
with one of my subs and somehow he had been blocked, but I didn't do it. Okay, Donna. Yeah. When I get done, I'll have to go in and double check on that. It's crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure I already did check that though, but I will check again. It's crazy. You do everything left-handed except right and crochet. Wow, Mad Mimi. Love, I mean. Okay. <laughs> My thing is happy dogs. Everyone is happy. The rule is the rule of the house. Yeah. I don't know, Nani May, you didn't look too happy the other day. We were pretty worried about you. But I'm glad that you're doing better. I'm glad everything's starting to work out for you. Excuse me, guys. Arby's on his own. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> Boo-hoo, no woman wants me. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, bud, you poor thing. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, really? Left-handed people are supposed to be really smart and creative? Really? Terry was driving. She's uh, taking, moving stuff to storage. That's, she was here for a minute, but she left. Yes, Handmade Design says, Hubby buys me yarn, so I make him something, something with it for him and keep the rest for my projects. <laughs> I did make my husband a Grinch. And he loves that thing. It has to stay out all year long. Hi, Sins Crafting World. Welcome, huh? Nice to see ya. <laughs> you got it, bud. <laughs> you got a lot off your chest. And now that everything's going smooth with the lawsuit, tired of fighting the courts for 18 months. I hear you, Nani May. I hear that. Well, we're just so used to seeing you happy and, and everything. To see you upset and, and stressed out. Wow. Not good. <laughs> Crazy turtle. Yep, yeah, my mom told me so, and she's left-handed, so she's right all the time. Oh, okay. Moms are always right all the time. <laughs> made sweaters. You knitted them. Oh, about killed you. Yeah, I hear that, Nani May. <laughs> I started towards more towards Christmas. I kind of I quit taking orders and everything because people wait till like two weeks before Christmas to place orders. There's no way I can be taking orders two weeks before Christmas and guarantee they're going to be there on time. Plus, what if something happens where I can't don't have time to make it or complete them? So I so I'm telling everybody this year, if you want to order, get your orders in way early, guys. <coughs> <laughs> did they oh you sold a lot of those angels wow i love mine noni me and it's not even packed packed away in a box i put it in a safe place so it wouldn't get crunched or anything so i love that i love it <laughs> jessica jessica remembers when she was growing up she told her mom she can't always know everything <laughs> Uh -huh. Mom's always right. Of course, it's the husband always says he's always right. You know, not. <laughs> uh, five days for Christmas. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Christmas was, uh, I don't know. Didn't seem like Christmas here this year. Just too much going on. Now I say, wow, mom knows more than I do. <laughs> uh we just got our tree down, Crazy Turtle. We just actually got it down yesterday. My husband finally got it down. But he's working three jobs, so he doesn't have a whole lot of time. I told him just leave it up for next Christmas, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Bye, Donna. Thank you for coming, hon. It was great having you here. Love you, sweetie. There's Denisha. What happened, hon? Now I see you. What happened? You must have had me blocked or something. Much better, darling. <laughs> You're back. That's like magic. You just popped right up there. Wow. Okay, Howling Fun RV Adventures. Thank you so much for coming. All right, and I will be here, and I will be seeing you around also. You take care. Have a wonderful day. 
the other account must have a strike. Oh, were you maybe on my old account still? Because my old account was hacked. Lori's Crochet Corner 2 is my new account. That's what happened. You might have been on the wrong, might have went to, I don't know what could have happened there, but I'm glad to see you back anyways, and it's all good, so yay. A good wife will never allow her husband to claim to be right, even if he is. You got that right, Grizz. <laughs> uh, we kind of just um, goof around, you know, as far as I'm right. He'll say I'm right. I'll say, no, I'm right. But like I said, a happy wife is a happy home. <laughs> Hook in the teacup says, because a man never is, Grizz. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Yes. How long have you been married, Grizz? <laughs> oh, your YouTube acts up. Okay. Well, I'm just glad to see that you're back. I couldn't figure out what's going on. And I think it was Granny D's live that I was on the other day. And everybody's talking to you. And I said hi to you because I knew you were there. But yet I couldn't see you. And I even said I still can't see Denisha. What the heck's going on, you know? So I'm glad that's fixed. Nani May Crochet and Morris says, yes, we, oh, Jessica says, yes, we absolutely love our Lori. Thank you, Jessica. You're so sweet. <laughs> happy spouse, happy house. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we have all kinds of sayings, don't we, guys? 40 years for you. Wow. Nani May, I didn't know that long. It's 36 for us, I think. 36 or 37 for me and my husband. I can't remember. I think I'm off by a year. Oh, um, let's see here. Okay, Whispers, time to get a hot shower and crawl into bed and read a few chapters in your book. Thank you so much for coming, Whisper. Love ya. Have a great day. See you soon. Which my YouTube account? Oh, you switched your YouTube account? Okay. Switch. I hope I don't have trouble finding you. Actually, well, yeah, later on when I when this live is done, I'll go back in once it's uploaded and click on you and see what happens. So, so yeah, she's doing a storage run. Yeah. Woman's fault, even if she was right. Ha, ha, ha. All right, you guys. <laughs> Are you trying, you guys starting stuff on my live? <laughs> Woman's fault, even if she was right. Ha, ha, ha. And Grizz says, I put my foot down and told her she can't touch any of our cast iron skillets that are larger than six inches. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, Crazy Turtle, thanks for coming, sweetie. Can't wait to see you again. I've missed you a lot. So you have a great evening. Hugs to you, too. Come back soon. I have to double check on you, too. I'm going to go in on this. Like I said, once I upload and start hitting icons and make sure I got everybody because you just never know with YouTube. It makes me nervous. I'm glad that we, uh, Denisha's back because I was really, I couldn't figure out what was going on with Denisha. So, oh, let me add 35, Amber 40. They don't ask any more questions. Not me, that is too funny. <laughs> I have a little tiny cast iron pan that I can make eggs in and that's it. But I'll tell you what, it sure can pack a wallop if I were to use it. <laughs> Hi, Catalina. Welcome. I don't, I, I don't know. I loved that little pan until my husband started frying hot dogs in it. And then it just ruined it. So, oh, you didn't get married till your son was two. Your parents married when you were seven and I'm, you're the youngest. I uh, see. Oh, you don't have a channel. Oh, okay. I see, Denisha. All right. Yes, very good for self-defense. <laughs> I have a great big round stick. And actually, it's a club that my husband made for me. I can't even remember what he made it out of. One for me and one for him, and they are in our cars. That way, if anybody tries to bother us when we're in our cars, they're going to get clubbed. And that's it. Don't mess with me. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, really, Nani Mae. Hi, T Town Gambler. Welcome, huh? Nice to see you. Cast iron was made for man. They did not have in mind using it on the man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. You guys just got me laughing. My eyes are, but I just got tears just getting real close to coming out of my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Between Grizz and Bud, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm glad Terry wasn't on here whenever you guys mentioned the C word, though. That would have been terrible. <laughs> uh, I know there's one, uh, one, one more person that picks on her about that, too. I think it's Grandpa. No, it ain't Grandpa. It's someone else. Hi, Jess Handmade Designs. Oh, you got to go. Wow. Well, thank you for stopping in anyway. Laughter is the best medicine. Yes, it is, Grizz. Thank you very much. It really is. I always feel so good when I get on here. And when you, I was kind of nervous at first because, like I said, no one was coming on, not too many. And and then you guys are telling me y'all got your notified late and everything. So that explains that. But, yeah, laughter is good. I'm always laughing when I'm on here with you guys. So there's always something to laugh about. <laughs> yeah she loves her kitties and grandpa picks on her as well okay i didn't think he did oh my gosh the nerve huh <laughs> uh i like that kitty that she found that's uh living under them steps there i wonder if she's gonna try to get take that cat in i'll have to ask her nani may says talking about laughter if you saw what my husband did last night you would have to you would have die calling, got it on video. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nani Mae, does your husband still work? I meant to ask you that. Not as much. Sherry Case is not as much as Bud. Oh, that kitten is so cute. It is cute. Really cute kitten. And it's so sad that it's it's just outdoors. But you know, if she does take it in, she's gonna have to be careful because it's probably feral. And it could be really mean eventually. So she would have to really watch. Did you see my cast iron vlog? I think I did, Ange. I think I did. In fact, I know I did because you had me checking to see what mine were. <laughs> Yarny Zebra's back. Welcome back, hon. I'd be friends with you. Love your video. Awesome, bud. Um, Terry. Uh, Mad Mimi. Terry's got a kitten living outside of her apartment underneath the steps. And um, it's not her kitten. It's a stray. And she's been feeding it and giving it water. Um, oh, and it's pregnant. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So maybe Terry won't be taking that kitty in. What would she do with kittens? Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's so sad. You know, guys. It, that just kills me. Animals out there alone. Oh, do they movie buff? My daughter has one, and that little bugger, he's something else. <laughs> oh, now, Grizz. <laughs> Who has a new kitten there? Cordially invited over for dinner, Grizz says. <laughs> Patty Patty, the cat killer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we can't have cats here. I've always wanted one, but my I actually tried to have one and but I'm allergic to them, so it didn't work out. I can't have cats at all. Chris, is, Chris you're such a bad boy. <laughs> oh, you would take it in Lori's creations? Yeah. I feel so bad for that thing. Pregnant and all. So she'll probably have to call, make a call to animal control or something because once that thing that that kitty has its babies that would be a terrible place for it to, to be with babies so we quit work at the regular walmart and got a job at the distribution distribution center at better money oh okay that's good nani may i didn't think he was working so i wondered cats are an endangered species around here Gria says i believe that Oh, definitely. <laughs> I don't even think I would trust you with my dogs, Grizz. 
<laughs> you know, they do that in China. <laughs> Went to the neighbor's place and had her kittens on the carpet. A mama cat in your neighborhood was always coming. Okay, for food. Yeah, Yarny Zebra, that's something. Carrie should make a kitty cardboard box to sleep. Yeah, she should. Yeah, she's got plenty of boxes. She could put a hole in the side of the box so the cat can get in, get in and out. High enough so that the babies couldn't get out of it, though. Hmm, that's an idea. Oh, Carol is allergic to cats also. Grizz, are you still laughing? <laughs> uh, Diane wants to know how to get her picture up, guys. I, um, as far as my icon, Jen did that for me a long time ago, so I'm not quite sure how to do it, but I'm sure there's someone on here who knows how, and if not, you can uh, Google it and ask Google how to do it, and it should give you a video to do it by. Three, oh, I missed that, Sherry. I have to go back. You have three, and Chris found a baby out in your compost pile. She is too scared to come close to us. But we've been putting food out for her. Ah, shit. Well, once you feed her, she'll get. She'll start coming closer and closer eventually. Hi, Sadie Spincraft. Welcome. I hope I didn't overlook you. Glad to see you here. Oh, you have to go into your settings. Yeah. And then what? <laughs> Do tell, do tell. Oh, account set, account settings and upload it. Oh, okay. Hi, Frida Abrard. Welcome. Hi, great to see you. You're new, I believe. Everybody, welcome, Frida. Hi, HD. Welcome, hon. True story. Oh, I believed you. It's a matter of travel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, HD, I was on your live earlier. I couldn't hear you, though, on there. I don't know what was going on on that. But I was there, girl, and I gave you a big thumbs up. <laughs> Well, wow, this turned out to be a nice live, guys. It's going on a uh, quarter after five, so I've been on here over an hour. Okay, Lori's Creations, you have a great evening. It was great seeing you. Thanks for coming. I hope to see you again real soon. Until eight or nine every night, he works on stuff in his shed when he gets off work. Wow, Nani May, he must be a busybody. Oh, when people come, then talk. Okay. You had people there, though. Bye, Sadie. Have a great evening, hon. Thank you for coming. Okay, Lori's Creations is leaving. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Thank you, hon. Yeah, it's just about time to get off of here. We've been on an hour. He's so hyper, hardly ever sits down. Yeah. Thank you, Denisha. Appreciate that, hon. DOY Creations is here. Hi, welcome. We're getting ready to call it a night here pretty quick. A couple more minutes. You can't figure it out, huh, Diane? Huh. If I were you, I would just go to Google and um, ask Google how to do it. And it should put up a video showing you how. Thank you, Sadie Spincraft. Hugs to you, sweetie. Love. You have some really good Chinese recipes I'm willing to sell, but you must follow the ingredient exactly. No way, Grizz. I don't trust you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm not making any of your recipes on my cooking channel either, so don't ask. <laughs> uh, thank you, Grace. Gail, I didn't think you were still here, hon. I thought you left. I kind of was shouting you out, telling everybody how wonderful your art is. I love Grace Gail's paintings, guys. I intend to own one someday. I love it. It's just beautiful. And then watching them do the painting in front of you is so, it just blew me away when I came across his channel. So I automatically, I subscribed to his channel right away. I love it. Love Grayscale Painting. 
Okay. Oh, you neither, <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> you don't trust them, Sherry? Video on your other channel, how to how to look in Google settings, check for a block. Oh, okay, Grizz. Yeah, I'm starting to learn little odds and ends about my computer now. I'm just kind of afraid to play around because I'm always so afraid I'm going to do something wrong and mess up the whole works. And kind of like uh, Nani Mae did with her her monetization. She accidentally deleted it. And she's going to get it back, thank God. But she did accidentally delete it. And she was really upset over it. And I would definitely be too because she worked her butt off to get monetized like we all do, guys. In fact, guys, I forgot to tell you, I was uh, notified by YouTube today, letting me know that my uh, my super chat is no longer uh, valid. It has been taken down with my old channel, of course. So hopefully when they bring up my other channel, I will get that back and whatever. So Diane, I really wish I could help you with that, hon, but I have no idea how to do it. I really wish I could help you with that. Um, you know who you could ask? I can tell you who, who to ask that would be able to help you. And that would be, um, he was on here when I started to, um, Claude, Drones by Claude, I think it's called. You, and he's he's a whiz when it comes to that stuff. And I mean, I, he's actually given me ideas of how to do the green screen, told me what kind of material to buy because I intend to do that eventually. So check with Claude on that. I'm sure he could help you on. Just go over, if you haven't watched his channel, you know, subscribe to him and uh, check him out. He's got a real cool channel. Your son admitted to it, Nani Mae? Your son did? Oh, my God. Are you serious? <gasps> wow, Nani Mae. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. I sure hope I get my stuff back because I, I really want to be able to do lives on my phone again. So, yeah, Your son teaches computer tech and still accidentally deleted your AdSense. That is unbelievable. Well, it was an accident, though. I hope you didn't knock him out or anything. <laughs> Hi, LS crew. Welcome. So glad you saw it. Bye. They, it came back up. Hmm. Hi, Chiquita. Welcome. You like the way I say your name? I just can't help it. I can't resist. He gives you money. You're real nice to the brat. <laughs> Naughty May. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ends all sewn in. Now on to making this baby bunting. Awesome. I'd like to see that, Mad Mimi. I made a couple. I don't know if you've seen mine. I actually made them for my reborns and I sold one also and made one for my granddaughter. Here's that frying pan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jujubes. Hi, welcome back. Glad to see ya. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> You're right, Carol. You're right there. It takes care of all our finances. I'm real nice to him. Oh, I would be too, Nani. Absolutely, definitely. <laughs> you can go live on your phone using Streamlabs from your Play Store app with less than 1,000 subs and an option for donations similar to Super Chat, but they only take 3% instead of 40. Awesome, Grizz. Thank you for telling me, telling me that. So I go to the Play Store and hit Streamlabs. And take it from there. It should tell me what to do, right? I've been wondering, and does that take you? Can do, will my video still end up with the rest of my videos on my YouTube? That's my main question. If I use something else, where are my videos going to go when I upload them? Whip Wednesday. Awesome, Mad Mimi. I'll be watching for you. He's a good boy. <laughs> Bye, Granny Crafters. Edna, thank you so much for coming, hon. Mwah, love you. I'll see you soon. When you get it, it will go live with you and walk you through it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Awesome. Thank you for telling me. But do I, where do my videos go though? Can you tell me that? He's 25, still lives at home, works from home, still teaches computer tech a few days a week, and is so hilarious. Well, not only I can imagine he's still hilarious because he lives with you, doesn't he? <laughs> Uh, set up your account online on your computer. Really? Okay. Hi, Lizanne's finds, by the way. Hi. <laughs> oh, they do go to a YouTube video? Awesome. Thank you. That was my main concern because I don't want to have my videos all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Take care, Mad Mimi. Take care, hon. Your husband is the funniest. I heard about him and I haven't got to watch that video yet, Nani, but I will. Believe you me. And I'm sure I'm in for a good laugh about that one. I was laughing just being told about that one live, live you did. So set up YouTube as your destination. Okay. Awesome, guys. Hi, Georgiana Green. Welcome, hon. Can't stay due to dinner being on stove. Well, thank you for stopping in. I sure do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Very nice. Better late than never, guys. If you can just pop in, that's okay, too. I don't worry about my analytics. You know, uh, a lot of people say, well, if you just stop in for one or two minutes, it doesn't help your analytics. I'm not worried about it. You know, as long as you stop in, that that's what means something to me, you know? So... Accidentally threw his shoes in the trash. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bye, Laura. Bye, hon. And we got people coming in. I'm getting ready to get off here. And it always happens that way, guys. Going to see what I can rustle up for dinner. Haven't eaten all day. Blood sugars are low. Love you, honey. Take care. Bye, all. God bless. Okay, Sherry Kay. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a good day. Good evening. Good night. You have a nice dinner. Save me some. <laughs> I get lazy when I get off my live. Sometimes I don't eat, and that's a bad thing. But hi, Star. Welcome, hon. Nice to see you. Just popping in late. <laughs> grilled cheese and tomato soup. Now, Nani made that. That sounds good. I was going to make uh, grilled cheese one night, and I ended up making fried eggs and toast first. You know, instead, I got hungry for that. So grilled cheese is always awesome. It's been great having all of you here tonight. I'll tell you guys, it just, it just does me good. It does a body good to be with my YouTube family. You're all terrific and so loving and wonderful and supportive. Who can ask for more, you know? I mean, you're just... It's so wonderful to have family, you know. Oh, that's okay, Star Hunt. That's all right. You know, it happened. I go into people's lives late too. Sometimes you just can't help it, you know. So sometimes you just can't help it. Rice, peas, and pork cook. Wow. Birthday party. You got rid of them for a couple hours. Yay, Nani. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Come on over at Jessica Love, Nani Mae says. Very yummy, yes. It's half past 11 here in Sweden. Wow, you're from Sweden. Oh, my gosh. I bet you have the most wonderful accent, Frida. Yeah, I really got to be, be getting ready to get off. Thank you guys also for the wonderful, all the thumbs up. My gosh, you guys are terrific. Yeah, for some of you, it's getting late. Jacqueline, you poor thing. The only female in the house of five. Oh, my gosh. That would drive me nuts. Private chat and be over soon. <laughs> That's a good one, Jessica. <laughs> I thought you were coming to visit me, Jessica. Get in that private chat and get your butt over here. <laughs> wow. 1030 UK. Yeah. Right now, it is 5.23 here. Yeah. So it's still kind of early. I got a few hours before bedtime. And that's when everybody I want to see goes on, does their lives. It's usually when I'm getting ready for bed. And I'm like, oh, I miss it again. Like Brenda Land. I always miss her lives because she goes on later. 
And every now and then I might catch one in the morning. Just depends. Teacup. Okay, 12 is my get your butt to bedtime. <laughs> I hear that. Peanut brittle. Yep, I got to get that sent out in the mail too. You need to go on to that. On to that uh, cooking show and make some. It's so easy, guys. Go on and make it. Let's see, Halo. I for sure will swing by and get you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so hard to get off of here, guys. It really is so hard to get off. Very difficult for me to get off once I start my lives. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work like that if the dogs are still awake. <laughs> Thank you, Caffeine Queen. It was great having you here today, too, hon. I really appreciate you coming. And we're all going to, it's about time to start saying, saying farewell to everybody for tonight. And let's see. Normally, I would come on on Wednesday for Lori's Crochet Corner. And I still might. I haven't decided, guys. I, I suppose I could pull out some more stuff to show you guys and come on for a little bit tomorrow. Um, probably be 6 o'clock. I do be believe I have in my um, my about tab in my schedule. I think I have it down for 6 and that will definitely be no longer than an hour live because my husband calls me at seven and I must be off the computer. Hi, Kim. Kim's Crochet and Knits. We're getting ready to get off, guys. Um, uh, when my husband calls, I have to be off because that's the only way we communicate and see each other during the week because we do it through Messenger. We can look at each other when we speak with each other. So no more lemon. What's with the lemon, honey? <laughs> Carol, you have a great evening. Nani, you have a great evening. Kim, Liz Ann, Star, Frida, Jessica, love you all. Mwah. And whoever else I didn't say goodnight to, you all have a wonderful night. Once, once again, thank you for your support. If you're not subscribed to me, please do subscribe, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't already and share. And I'll probably see you tomorrow, okay, guys? So you have a great evening. I love you all. Bye-bye.